Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. Hello friends. In this video, I will discuss 21 Hollywood films that I have watched and enjoyed so much that I watched them again and again. The films I love are mainly of the following genre, romance, action, drama, politics, and thriller. Sometimes I may also enjoy comedy, murder mystery, and crime movies. So I'm open to any genre as long as I find the movie interesting. Any movies that de depicts ordinary life, ordinary romance, or mindless violence repel me. The movies I'm about to disclose to you are not all new. Some are old, but they are all worth watching. Not only once, but more than once. In fact, some movies are so good that I have watched them again and again. Number one, Chinatown. Chinatown is a 1974 American mystery film starring Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. The film was inspired by the California Water Wars, a series of disputes over Southern California water at the beginning of the 20th century. It features many elements of film noir, particularly a multi-layered story that is part mystery and part psychological drama. Number two, The Cider House Rules. The Cider House Rules is a 1999 American drama film the story follows Homer Wells, who lives in a World War II era main orphanage run by a doctor who trained him on his journey after leaving the orphanage. The film stars Toby Maguire, Charlie's Theron et al. A compassionate young man raised in an orphanage and trained to be a doctor there decides to leave to see the world. Number three, The Bunker. The Bunker is a 1981 American made for television historical war film. It is a dramatization depicting the events surrounding Adolf Hitler's last weeks in and around the underground bunker in Berlin before and during the Battle of Berlin in 1945. The film stars Anthony Hopkins as Hitler. Anthony Hopkins actually did a very good job uh, playing the role of Hitler. Number four, Life is Beautiful in, in Italian with English subtitles. Life is Beautiful is a 1997 Italian comedy drama film, directed by and starring Roberto Benigni. Benigni plays Giodo Orifes, a Jewish-Italian bookshop owner who employs his fertile imagination to shield his son from the horrors of internment in a Nazi concentration camp. The film was partially inspired by ben Benigni's father who spent two years in a German labor camp during World War II. Number five, The Fugitive. The Fugitive is a 1993 American action crime thriller film and stars Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. Dr. Richard Kimball, unjustly accused of murdering his wife, must find the real killer while being the target of a nationwide manhunt led by a seasoned U.S. marshal. Number six, The Wicked Lady. The Wicked Lady is a 1945 costume drama 
film starring Margaret Lockwood in the title role as a noble man's wife who becomes a highway robber for the excitement. So a noble woman begins to lead a dangerous double life in order to alleviate her boredom. Number seven, The Hustler. The Hustler is a 1961 American drama film directed by Robert Rosen. It tells the story of a small time pool hustler, Fast Eddie Felsen, and his desire to break into the major league of professional hustling and high stakes wagering by high rollers that follows. He throws his raw talent and ambition up against the best player in the country, seeking to best the legendary pool player Minnesota Fats. After initially losing to Fats and getting involved with unscrupulous manager Burt Gordon, Eddie returns to try again, but only after paying a terrible personal price. Number eight, Judith. Judith is a 1966 drama film starring Sophia Loren, Peter Finch, and Jack Hawkins. The story involves one Nazi general who abandoned his wife during the war and took away their son. His wife was then sent to the Dacha concentration camp where she was forced to serve in an officer's brothel but survived. After she gets out, she comes to Palestine and takes revenge from this Nazi general. Number five, Les Miserables. Les Miserables is a 1998 historical film based on a novel by Victor Hugo. Jean Valjean, a former criminal, has atoned for his past and now finds himself in the midst of the French Revolution, avoiding a law-obsessed policeman hell-bent on capturing him. him. Number 10, On the Waterfront. On the Waterfront is a 1954 American crime drama film starring Marlon Brando and Card Mar Marden, Lee Jacob and others. The film focuses on union violence and corruption amongst longshoremen while detailing widespread corruption, extortion, and racketeering on the waterfronts of Hoboken, New Jersey. Number 11, Pianist. The Pianist is a 2002 biographical war drama film produced and directed by Roman Polanski and starring Adrian Brody. It is based on the autobiographical book, The Pianist, a Holocaust memoir by the Polish Jewish pianist and composer Spielmann, a Holocaust survivor. Number 12, Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman is a 1990 American romantic comedy film. The film stars Richard Gary and Julia Roberts. In this modern update on Cinderella, a prostitute and a wealthy businessman fall for one another, forming an unlikely pair. Number 13, Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver is a 1976 psychological thriller drama film starring Robert De Niro and Jody Foster. Set in a decaying and morally bankrupt New York City following the Vietnam War, the film tells the story of a lonely taxi driver who descends into insanity as he plots to assassinate both the presidential candidate for whom the woman he is infatuated with works and the pimp of an underage prostitute. 
played by Jodie Foster. He befriends. Number four. Number, number 14. The Lives of Others. The Lives of Others is a 2006 German drama film about the monitoring of East Berlin residents by agents of the Stasi, that is East Germany's secret police. It was released 17 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, marking the end of the East German socialist state. Number 15. A Farewell to Arms A Farewell to Arms is a 1932 American romance drama film starring Helen Hayes and Gary Cooper, based on the 1929 semi-autobiographical novel A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. The film is about a tragic romance, love, affair between an American ambulance driver and an English nurse in Italy during World War One. Number 16, Memento. Memento is a 2000 American psychological thriller film in which Guy Pierce stars as a man who, as a result of an injury, has anterior great amnesia, that is, the inability to form new memories, and has short-term memory loss approximately every 15 minutes. He is searching for the people who attacked him and killed his wife, using an intricate system of Polaroid photographs and tattoos to track information he cannot remember. A Hindi movie was made around the same lines by Bollywood. Number 17. Heaven Can Wait. Heaven Can Wait is a 1978 American fantasy comedy film about a young man being Mr. Kenley taken to heaven by his guardian angel and the resulting complications of how this mistake can be undone, given that his earthly body has been cremated. The cast includes Beatty, Julie Christie, and Jack Warden. Number 18, Of Human Bondage. Of Human Bondage is a 1934 American drama film, widely regarded as, as by critics as the film that made Betty Davis a star. This film is based on the 1915 novel of Human Bondage by W. Somerset Maugham, who was a very famous writer. Number 19, Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs is a 1992 American crime film written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. It stars Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Chris Penn et al. It shows diamond thieves whose planned heist of a jewelry store goes terribly wrong. It incorporates many motives that have become Tarantino's hallmarks, that is, violent crime, pop culture references, profanity, and non-linear storytelling. The film is regarded as a classic of independent film and a cult film and was named, quote, greatest independent film of all time, unquote, by Empire. Number 20, War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds is a 2005 American science fiction action film directed by Stephen Spielberg and is loosely based on the 1898 similarly titled novel by H.G. Wells. It stars Tom Cruise with Dakota Fanning et al. It also features narration by Morgan Freeman. The film follows an American dock worker who is forced to look after his children from whom he lives separately as he struggles to protect them and reunite them with their mother when extraterrestrials invade the earth and
devastate cities with giant war machines. Number 21, the ultimate gift. The ultimate gift is a 2006 American drama film. It stars Drew Fuller et al. A deceased billionaire leaves his spoiled adult grandson a series of odd tasks to perform in order to receive quote, the ultimate gift, unquote, with the resentful grandson having no idea what that might be. And so, and while Tycoon's unorthodox will tutors his spoiled grandson in life lessons that instant wealth could never still. That's all for today, folks. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, click on the uh, bell icon so that you will be informed of any new movies I post. I intend to post very interesting movies with lots of very good information in the coming weeks and months. So stay tuned, become my subscriber by clicking on subscribe button and uh, good luck to you during this uh, pandemic of uh, coronavirus. Hello, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. You should also share this video with your friends by clicking on the share button below. You can share it via WhatsApp, via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or via email. Please also write your thoughts in the comment section below so that others may benefit from your thoughts. You can also click on the bell icon so that you will be informed when I post new videos. Thank you.